Arizona's largest youth soccer tournament is back for the 29th year. It's expected to generate more than $4 million in economic impact. News 4 Tucson's Kendra Hall is live at the Kino Sports Complex this morning with details on this incredible tournament. Kendra. Sean, well, all the fun starts in about 12 hours with the opening ceremony tonight. Now, this area is about to be packed with people coming into Tucson from all over the country and even Mexico. The shootout tournament game starts Saturday, but it kicks off with Soccer Olympics tonight. Yes. What kind of day is it? Typically when we go to tournaments, it's it's mostly just all about match play and whether you win or lose. And really this uh, this is more uh, bringing in the soccer community and allowing them to, to have a little bit more team fun. Shootout board members say this opening day is one of the reasons the shootout is so special. Good pass, good. It starts off with the parade opening ceremonies. All the kids run through the parade uh, with their mascots, logos and cheers. And then directly following that, uh, we have Soccer Olympics, which is held uh, in the Keno South area. And that is juggling, dribbling, uh, accuracy, and foot golf. Tournament director Billy Mordka says this is what separates the shootout from other soccer events around the country. And the kids have a blast. You get to have like competition and you get to play with your teammates. Games over the weekend will take place at Keno, Udall Park, and Golf Links Park. So drivers should expect delays in the area. As one on three, ready? One, two, three. As one! Now they're expecting a total of 300 teams competing this weekend. So expect busy crowds all across Tucson. Now the opening ceremony does start tonight at 6 p.m. right here at Keno. For more info, go to our website. That's kvoa.com. Sean, back to you.